Hello everyone, my name is Jose Garcia, and in this video I'm going to give you a little bit of a tip when it comes to separating components that you have created uh, with the thought of an assembly, but you've done it all in one part. Now, a while ago I did a video where I showed you how you can do this through product interface. Now, that's very nice and all, but sometimes you want to separate these things in context uh, of an assembly instead of having wave linked parts and you can do that in NX so I have a little example here for you uh, I have two bodies in here created uh, in one part file this is very typical especially in aerospace right you have a nozzle maybe some insulation what have you and now you have all of these bodies in this part file if you look at my part navigator over here, I have a couple of things in here that define these two bodies. And ultimately, what I want to do is separate these things in their own part files, but I want the items that define them to go into those part files. So that's what I'm going to do right now. If you look at my assembly navigator here, I don't really have anything. It's just kind of sitting there, right? So I'm going to come up here and hit the button that says new component. Uh, you would call this whatever you want. I'll just leave it on the default here. I'm working in millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now immediately when you do that, you get this little window that looks like this. And this question comes up a lot, especially when I train folks. It's like, what exactly is this even asking you for? Well, it's asking you to select a component so that it can add every feature that makes up those components or component into the part file that you just created. In other words, if I select any of these bodies, it will grab all of the features that make up just that body. So in this case, I want this model five component to have this interior cylinder here. I'll give you the overall shape of it so you can have an idea, but the shape is not important. So I'm going to go ahead and select this guy here. Click. All right. Now, if you're feeling pretty lucky, you can hit the button that says delete original objects, but that's a little bit risky. Uh, if you turn that on, when you hit OK, everything that you see that defines this body here is going to be deleted from the parent. I advise that you don't do that right away. Turn that off so you can see if there are any errors. And if you see that no errors have arised, then you can turn that on or you can just delete it yourself, right? I generally have this turned off just for error sakes. So once I hit this body, I'm going to hit the OK button. Boom. Now, if you notice, it kind of superimposed another one on this piece of geometry because it's giving me the lightweight version of that component but if I go over to my assembly navigator you can see that this new component called model 5 is now inside of this parent if I right click on model 5 and then say open in window you can see that everything that defines this thing was added into this part file there's no linking involved whatsoever. So you're basically grabbing all the parametrics and bringing it into this new part file. Now, granted, I do have an extra coordinate system that I probably do not want. You could go ahead and delete it, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. If I go back over into the model one here, you can see that my little piece of geometry here is still kind of looking a little jagged. But let's complete the other step, which is creating a new component for this guy. So I'm going to do the same thing. New component. This is going to be called model six. I'll hit the OK button. And in this case, I'm going to show you what delete original objects does. I'll turn that on and I'll select the blue cylinder now. So if I select the blue cylinder. There you go. Looks very nice. So now if I hit the OK button, watch what happens in the part navigator. You see how it removed that thick in there because it no longer takes that into consideration. So it removed it from the part navigator. 
If I go over, however, into model six and open it in a new window, you can very clearly see that the component or the, I should say the features that make up this blue cylinder came in just as we expected it to. So there you go. Okay. Now with that being said, you could do a little bit of cleanup work here, right? I can come up here and delete this body here because it's not really needed. I just need to remove the extracted face. Uh, and that's much better. Okay. Now, if I go back into my main level assembly, you can see that, of course, it's looking a little jagged. But now that I have split these up into two separate components, I can just come in here and remove everything in the main parent. And now I have an assembly that looks like this. Of course, it looks a little weird, but that's because it's showing you the lightweight. If you say show exact, you can see that we pretty much have the exact same thing that we had in the parent part, except now they are split up into two separate components. That's a neat little trick if you run into that situation. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much and take care.